Hi, my name is Julio Casal, and in this video, I would like to show you how to get started with Team Foundation Server 2010 Team Projects. This video assumes that you have already installed and configured Team Foundation Server 2010. If you have not done so, you can uh, go and check my blog, juliocasal.com, where you will find a couple of posts uh, regarding the installation and configuration. Also, this video is based on Team Foundation Server 2010 Beta 2. Okay, so um, once you have installed and configured TFS 2010, first thing you have to do is to connect to the to the server. So let's open Visual Studio 2010. Okay, and now in Visual Studio 2010. Uh, to connect to the server, you can use the Connect to Team Foundation Server in the Start page, or you can go to Team Connect to Team Foundation Server. It's just the same. Um, click on Servers, click on Add, type the name of your Team Foundation Server, okay? Which in my case I have in in another machine in my network. Click OK. This will require our credentials. Let's type the, your credentials. Okay, let's wait. There you go. We have just connected to the server. As soon as you connect to the server, you will get uh, the directory of all your project collections that you have so far. Project collections are just groupings of team projects for better administration. Now click connect. And in the right side of in your team explorer, you will find that uh, you have your default collection and it's, it is here where we can create our team project. So right click, click on new team project. And in this dialog, the first thing to do is to specify the name for your, for your team project. In this case, we will be working in a sample uh, uh, fictional um, bookstore application, Windows application where you can do several management of uh, books, basically books. So let's call this bookstore, click next. You need to specify which uh, software process template you want to use for your project. These are the two ones available um, in TFS 2010. We will use MSS for Agile Software Development version 5.0 beta 2. Click next. You need to specify a SharePoint site where all the, um, the templates and several documents related to the project will be stored. So to do this, let's click on configure and now let's specify the address. Okay, we will use this for the address. You can see the complete URL down here, TFS slash bookstore. Click OK, click next. You need to specify if you want to create an empty source control folder here. We will use the bookstore source control folder. Click next and then click finish. Okay, so Right now, the, um, the wizard will be in charge of creating the source control folders, the SharePoint site, the uh, preparing the SQL Server database, and the work item times, and, and a lot of stuff that will be done here. This will take uh, probably several minutes. So now, just let's just wait for this to finish. So now that project has been created, let's keep this mark enabled and click close. So first thing that you will notice here, okay, let's enter the password, is the um, process guidance, okay, that will be loaded right now in the central pane of the team, uh, Visual Studio. This process guidance is very useful to understand the whole uh, development process. In our case, we chose the um, MSS for Agile Software Development uh, version 5. And that's what we got here. If you uh, browse around this, um, this site, you will find uh, a lot of information on how, what is this process based on, which will be a Scrum, the Scrum process, uh, which artifacts you get, which roles are involved, and several stuff related to the process. Okay, now let's close this 
and let's take a quick look uh, at what we got once the project the project was created. Uh, if you see in the Team Explorer in the right side, you can see that we have several uh, nodes here. First one called work items. So work items are the the way that you can uh, assign tasks, several kinds of tasks, uh, user stories, uh, bugs, issues, and some more tasks that will also depend on the process template that you chose. And work items will be uh, very useful for tracking the the advance of the project and to control the project also. Uh, you will have you will find several queries that allow you to see uh, the several work items that you will be using using several queries, different queries. In the next node you will find the documents uh, folder. This documents folder is actually uh, linked to a SharePoint site that was created with this uh, project. So in, in this uh, folder you can see several dashboards, Excel reports that were created the process guidance, which is the one where, that we just saw, uh, several samples and templates to get you started on your documents, and the shared documents folder where you have uh, also several important documents that we will see in a few. Okay, that's the documents folder. You also get several reports. Okay, these are uh, SQL Server reporting services reports that allow you to see um, from different views, the advance of your project in the current status. Okay, you get build reports, bug reports, dashboard reports, several other reports. Okay, project management, you can see here, test here. Okay, you also get the builds node here, where you will be able to create your the builds for your application, so you can automate in several ways the, the way that your project will be created and the way that you will get the assemblies, the installers, the documentation and several other stuff. And the source control folder is for uh, entering the let's double click to enter the source control in the um, source control explorer window. Okay? We don't have any source right now but this is the place where you will be able to manage your source control. Okay, now let's take a look at the project portal. If you right click in the in the team project and click on show project portal, this will open a SharePoint site that was created for your project. Enter the credentials. Okay, let's wait. Okay, so you can see now we have the SharePoint site. In the SharePoint site you will find a lot of stuff. The default view that you, can, you get here, the default page, is the burn down page where you will eventually see several dashboards with information about the progress of the, of the project. Okay, so this is just one of the possible dashboards, burn down. You also get quality, bugs, tests, several other stuff. Right now we, can, we cannot see the information because the um, uh, analysis services uh, cubes have not been built so far, but they will be eventually uh, built as you progress in your project. You also get Excel reports, you get reporting services reports, you get the documents, like for example if you go to samples and templates, you will get several uh, templates for your project, like for example if you want to write user stories, you can go to personas and design, and you will get for example the template for user stories, the template for persona definition and a lot of more stuff. If you go to share documents you would get for example the product backlog and the specific iteration uh, documents. Okay, This is all based on the scrum process so this is the appropriate documents for this process. If you click, okay hold on, Okay, so if you click in Team Web Access, what you get is the um, uh, Web Access uh, view of the Team Explorer. So basically you can do here anything that you can do in the Visual Studio Team Explorer. So the Team Web Access is very useful for the people in the team that don't really need a Visual Studio installed in their machines, maybe project managers, product managers and that kind of people. Okay, you can do a lot in here. Let's close this and well that's pretty much it for this video. So hopefully you got an idea of what you get when you create, once you created your first project and hopefully in the next video I will show you uh, how to get started with the user stories in your project. Thank you very much, see you next time.